It is now my pleasure to introduce the speaker elected by the senior class, Evan Mitchell. Good afternoon. When we started at Tower Hill 14 years ago, Will Smith's Getting Jiggy With It was the number one song in America. The price of one gallon of gas was a dollar and three cents. Two of the most popular movies were Titanic and A Bug's Life. A unique introduction to the internet, the search engine Google was introduced, and it had only been 90 years since the Chicago Cubs had last won a World Series. <laughs> I guess some things never change. I'm sure a lot of you parents have questioned whether or not this commitment was worth it over the past 14 years. I know firsthand that life at Tower Hill can be very difficult and very demanding, so I can only imagine what it must have been like for the parents. Many of you may be curious as to what all your hard work and sacrifice has brought you. So I'm here to show you some glimpses of what it was all for. Albert Einstein once said, Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Well, this comment particularly applies to the class of 2013. In fourth grade, the class took the annual trip to Williamsburg, Virginia, which, for many of us, was our first time away from home for an extended period. On the trip, we visited the Jamestown Colony, toured blacksmith shops from the 1700s, viewed reenactments of 18th century battles, saw relics from the Revolutionary War, and half the class caught a stomach bug and consequently experienced explosive diarrhea and vomiting. <laughs> Throughout the years in science class, we were able to explore the universe through the magic of the big inflatable bubble known as Starlab. Each visit, we wiggled inside the bubble and were told stories and legends about the constellations. Once, in eighth grade, we were learning all about Orion's belt when one particularly eager student who, in an attempt to turn off the projector light, accidentally disabled the fan keeping the Star Lab inflated. <laughs> Chaos immediately ensued as students rushed out of the deflated Star Lab, fearing for their lives. Amongst the confusion, the disheveled student let out a screechingly high-pitched, My bad! <laughs> Needless to say, he has not lived this down even to this day. <laughs> We have had the pleasure of experiencing the works of world-renowned artists, such as Arthur Ganson, during our time here at Tower Hill. When he came to visit, he brought many of his famous sculptures and placed them on display in the lower lobby of the Art Center. Unfortunately for one unlucky sculpture, its time at Tower Hill was extremely brief, thanks to one clumsy student who shall remain nameless, but who spoke to you only a few moments ago. <laughs> We are very proud of each and every one of our sports team's accomplishments here over the past four years. We have won seven state championships, 21 conference championships, developed 10 all-state athletes, 43 all-conference athletes, and three all-Americans. We have also suffered two broken collarbones, two separated shoulders, several tibia fractures, a shattered knuckle, several fractured ankles, broken arms, numerous stitches, and too many concussions to count. Needless to say, we have all spent a lot of time inside the well-equipped training room. You've also taught us the importance of conserving financial resources. A personal favorite example of this came during the 2012 baseball season when the varsity baseball team was fortunate enough to share a bus to Wilmington Friends School with the middle school girls soccer team. <laughs> the baseball team has never heard such high-pitched squealing in such, an, in such an enclosed environment before or since. From the early days of Under the Wonderful Sea to our most recent production of Seussical the Musical, we learned to be comfortable on stage and to sing and dance. This would not have been possible without the tireless work of our drama department. Thank you for sending us to a school that had such fantastic teachers who touched our lives in unique and important ways. Over the course of our time here at Tower Hill, we have participated in numerous community service projects which had an impact at both the local and global level. We organized numerous blood drives, grassroots soccer tournaments to benefit African children afflicted with AIDS, and food and clothing drives that supported needy families in the Wilmington area. 
We also partnered with Eastside Charter, an inner city school educating underprivileged children. Thank you for teaching us the importance of giving back. You saw and experienced a heartbroken community pulled together after the death of a, of a beloved classmate. Each of us who knew Tyler Hicks felt the pain and anguish when he passed away. But I think anybody who knew him would agree that he is proudly smiling down on each of the 56 students on this stage here today. Thank you for helping to teach us to appreciate each day. Ultimately, all your hard work and sacrifices have led to these wonderful young adults sitting on the stage before you today ready to venture off into the world. So parents, on the behalf of the class of 2013, thank you for all your sacrifice. And get ready to make even more sacrifices for our college education. <laughs> Thanks.